But I just hooked up the, uh, this. This is all hooked up, grounded, and this is hooked up into there. Uh, this never had an hour meter on it. It was replaced by the, whatever, no. It was replaced for an amp meter, and uh, I ripped the amp meter out and bothered putting it back in because it was, it was brand new, but it was pretty pointless. So, anyway, pull this choke, see if the, that turned, that turned on. And there you have it. So, everything works, that's good. Real pump works, so rewired it. Um, what else, what else? Ground, that's what it was. The ground works, so I just had to make sure the ground worked. Um, doesn't have any safety switches, being that it's the new mo uh, newer motor in it that I replaced. So, it, I mean, it's got the PTO right here. I already showed you guys that, I'm pretty sure. But I'll never use PTO on it. Um, but it's just a, just in case. And this, there's supposed to be one right there. There isn't. It wasn't on there when I got it. It's never done one. Seat, there's never been a safe seat safety. Uh, I don't know if there ever was, considering it was not. It was one of the seats that didn't tip up. I'm not sure. But lights should work. Uh, it worked before I, you know, parked it. So everything should work on it and uh yeah looks really really good so i think i might just unplug this for the time being um i don't know where i put the wrench but, yeah looks really good i gotta oh they got the top of the grill hmm. it'll just pop that it's not good Hmm. Uh, but yeah, that all clicks in. I think I might have to adjust that, but that all clicks in and it's just looking beautiful. There's this gap in the front and I think I might try to fix that. It's always been like that. And a lot of it is because of, they're not going anywhere, but a lot of it is because of the bolt that I had to bend down right here and then bolt it to it. And a lot of that was because of other reasons, but it just makes it better. But yeah, it's looking pretty sharp. I think I just gotta touch up a little bit with some clear coat and paint the rims, like I said, so. All right, so uh, it's currently now, oh, what is it? Yes, 15th, 16th, I think today's the 16th. It's Wednesday. Um, it's right now, it's just around three o'clock and I'm getting ready to head out, uh, going camping and bringing, we've been camping. But anyway, um, so this is, actually that's the whole reason I, have this entire bay to myself is because campers are gone and all that so everybody's nobody's been really here so anyway so this tires will be here tomorrow so i need to get paint tonight because that's the only thing i'm waiting on and this baby is going to get released in this video you're going to be watching this video so hopefully the plan is to have this video out friday because i haven't edited it uh go check out the last one that is out um been out but anyway so um Front tires need to come off. These are already off. I think I'm gonna mount them and then paint them. I think that makes the most sense, except I have to get a valve stem or two tubes. And a lot, a lot of people are telling me just to try it. Some of brand new tires just to throw a valve stem in it. Uh, but I'm gonna look at prices of tubes while I'm there. Hopefully, I know they have tubes actually. I don't know if they have 26s, I think they would. And so um, I'm gonna look at prices of tubes and if I can get two for under a hundred bucks, then I'll be getting two. So uh, hopefully I can. Oh, boom, I just uh, hit those up and they're looking pretty clean. And uh, I hit up the back side, but uh, I'll probably just throw a thing of primer on them, front and back, and uh, paint them up. Obviously not that big of a deal. I think I actually need to get primer, so I might be screwed. Might have to leave the front ones for now, but uh, it might be somewhere around here somewhere. I think it's been used up though. I mean, these are fine. They just need to get touched with some. Uh... Alright, so I've just been painting away since that's the only thing that's left to do, and because that's the only thing I can do. 
Look at my finger. Oh my gosh. Anyway. Uh, both sides are done. I just flipped them. Um, there's three coats on the front. And then just two coats, I'm pretty sure, on the backs. Just because... Um, those are done. There's got like three, four coats on them. I don't know how to stop counting. I just sprayed them every time. <laughs> so every single one of these tires will be tubed. That's, I, I like doing it that way. These have to be, and those ones just make more sense because just, just, I have horrible luck with, uh, the bead ceiling, so they usually go flat, but at least the last ones did. Bye, right, guys. So before I show you, what I'm about to show you. Look at my hand. Oh, yeah. Before I show you what I'm about to show you, uh, just know I'm super sorry. I I didn't plan to shove my finger into a car do uh, truck door this morning, so it's been hard, and trying to video and do what I'm doing is really hard, so I'm just gonna let you guys know that. So, look at that. Oh, my gosh. One-handed, I just put those rear tires on, and, well, I mean, I used the other hand, but not much, but, oh, my gosh. Gosh, the whole way down here, I'm just screaming like, damn, she's pretty. Them tires look mean as heck, though. Like, the front ones I thought were big. The rear ones, they make them look even, like, they look make them look small. But uh, this thing is mean. Uh, I haven't put the rear light in. I forgot to, but um, I don't have any glue, so I'm kind of pointless. I don't want to fall out and break because then I'm definitely screwed. So I just left that out, but oh my gosh obviously gotta get the hood decals that's my next order since i just got those tires and uh gosh she's mean a little thing little things need to get twerked um the the something up with this and it needs to just get screwed down because it likes to pop out but nothing major and then what else was there i gotta grease the front i forgot to but i was just too excited to get out here i think that's it uh, it was smoking a little bit upon starting up because, well, it wasn't smoking the paint on the, I got some on the, uh, like, this is primer right here. I just sprayed it on there to make it look a little bit nicer. And uh, then up in here, when I sprayed this panel on, when it was on, it kind of got on, but nothing major. Um, this thing is a beauty. I was going to hook up the trailer, but uh, I decided not to just because I wanted to see what it looked like by itself. I'll probably go hook it up. Seat, I love the seat. I don't think I'm gonna get a new one. Yes, a new one would look great, but I mean, it's mint. It needs a wash. You can see the front has it's nice and clear in the back, and then I rub my finger through it. Um, it needs to get cleaned up. Um, oh, lights, you gotta get ordered lights. But this thing is mint. Oh my gosh! Imagine some weights on the back. Oh my gosh! So uh, I'm gonna drive this around, take some pictures of it, and uh, we'll, we'll see. Well, guys, yeah, so uh, I parked it in here about like two hours ago. I've just been in so much pain. But my hand's been in so much pain. I mean, looked at it. Oh yeah, I've been told the nail's gonna fall off, but I'm I'm waiting to see. I don't care if it does. I'm just I don't believe them. <laughs> but uh, I should have cleaned it. But like I said, I was just in too much pain to want to. And, uh, yeah, so I think this thing looks bad to the bone. I, I really do. Um, like I said, things need to get twerked. I just ordered the hood decals because, quite frankly, I can go pick up uh, LED light bulbs in the store. They're just overpriced, but I cannot pick up hood decals. So I uh, spent, spent like, I don't know, 50 bucks on new hood decals, probably a little bit too much, but I really don't care. Um, excuse me. Um, thing is mint, 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 mint. I mean, honestly, honestly. So this thing is just a ma a beast. I'm probably not gonna get a seat cover like I mentioned. Don't really need one. Um, I was thinking maybe smooth the seat back a little bit more. Maybe not. Probably not. Actually, it looks it, it feels fine. Um, uh, everything looks great. That looks beautiful. Uh, I don't know why. I think it's because I sprayed it with some clear coat. Just got to get that other light in. And then uh, get those foot thingies. Whatever you call it. Anti-slip. This thing. I guess I had some attachments to use. 
Uh, kind of regret getting rid of that snowblower because I definitely could have made it into like a snowplow or something, you know, like a pusher, snow pusher. Would have been kind of cool. But uh, no, nah, this thing is just a beast. So uh, I got this done in about two weeks. Mainly what was taking so long was just me getting the uh, supplies. I mean, I had it primed and ready to go pretty much, but I didn't have the paint. And then I got the paint and then I didn't have the tires after I painted but it's all good to go. Um, everything's beautiful. Uh, I just need to get some small details, like I mentioned. But and grease up the front. That's the other thing. Keep forgetting. But she is mint, guys. And I just want to say thank you to everybody uh, supporting the build, and everybody that's watching this video right now. Thank you a bunch. But uh, yeah, I just I, those true powers look amazing. Those front tires looking amazing. Uh, really don't need much. I'd like to get a front weight bracket and a three-point hitch with a bracket of weights in the back. But, you know, I've already got to more than anticipated into this. So I think it's time to take a break from this. And uh, probably, well, after the hood decals get here. But after that, I think it's going to be time to take a break from this. And uh, either move on to another project or just, I don't know, uh, kind of tight on... No, I don't want to say tight, but I, just, I don't feel like doing any more projects. I mean, I love projects, but it's getting to the point where I got to, like, start saving because this thing, this thing took a huge chunk out, especially that I just flattened it and just did everything at once. Um, that, that didn't really help, but looks like that needs to get moved over. The hood needs to get moved over just a tad. Not a big deal. Um, yeah, I think this thing looks beautiful. Um... Definitely got some more things to do to it, but uh, the only thing I can see that's going to be next video is going to be something like uh, me putting it to work. Hopefully, I can find some work for this to pay itself because this thing is way too much money. <laughs> way more than I needed. I mean, I'll tell you how much I paid for it. So, I actually paid uh, uh, 500 bucks cash, $500 for the thing. It ran, um, it ran... You know, it didn't have a throttle cable, so it was kind of bad, and I don't think the choke really worked. So it ran, but we had to get it up onto my uncle's truck because we went in like an hour, over an hour to get it. And uh, I don't usually go that far for things, but I told him I needed this. So we went up there. Um, we grabbed it, and the guy was like, ah, I don't know why it's not running. I was like, dude, we ha I, there's no way we're pushing this thing up with the snowblower on the front. Like, we need this because we only have the bed of this truck. I was like, dude, we need this thing to run. Like, there's nothing we can do to get it up if not. And I, I need this, and I can't be just going up here for nothing. So uh, we ended up, it did run. It stalled or shut off a couple times, but it ran. Then I got it here, carb cleaned the next morning, and it ran great. And uh, I used it, like, here and there. And then the next week, I was spring clean up around here. And, uh, motor, I, I didn't even, I literally had that little tiny cart I got, the little red one, Boland, because I got that same day with this when I got home, it was here. And, um, I literally moved one thing, a load of leaves down back, and then it started, like, a ticking. I was like, no. So I went and parked it, and, you know, I still, I had the, uh, 112, so I swapped the wheel weights and the tires, because I was only running, I only had one pair of, uh bar tread so i swapped the wheel weights and the tires which was a pain and uh went and worked with the 112 and then that started acting up but this thing then come to find out i uh stripped about every gear in the onion that was in it so it sat for about four weeks until i found the replacement engine which was in a cub cadet go check out those videos but it's got a 21 horsepower v-twin cooler in it now and it I had that 316, and I was almost, like, I'm so glad I didn't, but I was, like, asking around, like, thinking about it, like, putting the, six. I only had 650 hours on it, and I was like, well, it's an 18 horse, because it was the older, uh, newer model, it's like a 69, and I was like, well, I could do a lot more if I had that V, that opposed, uh, own in it, and then I thought about it, and I was like, no, because those things... It was so, it's not really reliable. So this thing, it starts up on the dime. Sometimes needs a little bit of choke, but, you know, you pull the choke, you have to push it right back in because it's mint. 
But uh, yeah, I guess I'll stop boring you guys. Pretty long video. Like I said, this is this is just I just love it. Um, there's that light down there and all the stuff I used. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed. If you have any comments or suggestions, leave them down. And uh, hopefully hopefully I'll try to... I don't know why you're whining. Hopefully I'll try to uh, do everything you guys say do. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for supporting. And uh, see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.